There comes a time when you need to make some changes. You need to look at your tactic. You need to be honest with yourself. <laughs> and you need to decide. It needs an intervention. You need to decide what you're going to do about this moving forward. With Atleti, I've got to this point now where I kind of need to... I feel like I need to make a preemptive strike. I need to address this before it gets any worse. Now, on the face of it, it doesn't look that bad. We've only lost two games all season, in La Liga, that is. But the loss to Barcelona and the loss to Juventus kind of forced me to have a little think about the way we've been approaching things and think, is there anything that I can strengthen? Is there anything that I can just improve a little bit? Because, because that is going to be the difference. Our performance against teams like Juventus, Barcelona and obviously Real Madrid today, that's going to be the difference between success or failure in La Liga and the Champions League this season. So today, we're going to have a quick look at the tactic and we're going to explore ways that we might be able to tweak and streamline it and give ourselves more success, essentially. I am guilty, as a lot of people are probably, of tweaking and tweaking and tweaking the tactic and, you know, messing around with it. This season I haven't really done that. Basically, I've just kind of rested on a couple of tactics for the whole season and I kind of feel like now I need to go back in and, and, and address those because although the results here are showing quite clearly that we're doing well, apart from some of the results against the, the bigger sides, and you know, the league position is good as well. What's clear from looking at the stats is that it could be better. This is our stats for the season. So there are a couple of areas that I think we're doing really well in, and there are a couple of areas we're doing badly in. So first of all, tackles won. 87% of our tackles have been won. And on the whole, I am happy with the team defensively, with the exception of perhaps the wing-backs, which is an issue that I think we'll come on to in a minute. Passes, passing, our passing has been really good. 80% of those have been successful, and really interestingly, our best player in terms of passing has been Mar Marcus Llorente. And Llorente is one of those players that I mentioned last week as one of my favourite players in, this, in the team. I, you know, I had this feeling he was doing well, but to see it backed up with that stat is, is, is really good. Now onto the bad stuff. So, crosses. We've only been successful with 22% of our crosses, which is not great considering that one of the things we want to be doing is playing along uh, along the wings, and, and you'll see when we come to the formation in a minute that I'm, I'm aiming to play through the wings rather than through the centre. Crossing is something that I thought we would probably rely quite heavily on. Having said that, I have been playing an inverted winger on one side, so, you know, maybe that's the reason. What there isn't a reason for, or what I can't find a reason for, is why we have only converted 10% of our shot attempts. We've had 461 shots, and we've only scored 45 of those, which is pretty woeful. I mean, 45 is a lot of goals at this point in the season, but still, 10%, that's really bad. That's, we're underperforming. Although we're doing okay in the league, it's this veneer of success which is kind of misleading. We're not doing as well as we could do. So this all becomes even more confusing when you consider that in La Liga at the moment, Diego Costa is the top goal scorer and Alvaro Morata is joint fifth with Twati Griezmann. So what's happening here? We are scoring goals, but we're missing so many chances as well. So this is the bit where you're thinking that I'm going to come in and tell you why that is, aren't you? It's not because I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. This is not a tutorial. This is not <laughs> this is not me telling you how to play the game. I don't know. The only thing I can think and the only things I can think of to to try and combat this or the things I can think of to do to try to combat this are to think about our tactic, uh, what's responsible within our tactic. So it's not necessarily the formation, but it could be things like the team instructions. It could be the player roles. It could be certainly the player roles in terms of the strikers and perhaps some of the player instructions as well there are things we can do there so like i said this is this is not a tutorial <laughs> i i don't have the solution i don't know what's happened i don't know what's happening but i know that we could be better so this is a tweak all this is is a tweak i'm going to have a quick look through and work out what there is we can change 
The first thing that I want to change, that I know we can change, are the wing backs. We've been leaving too much space at the back, and the whole idea of me playing wing backs to start with was this idea that I wanted them to be attacking. Um, a wing back is supposed to fulfil the attacking and the defensive duties, but I think that a full back in this sense might be a little bit better because a full back is going to be um, doing those overlapping runs, um, and I think a full back will actually have a, perhaps on support will have slightly more defensive duties. So we're going fullback support on the left and fullback support on the right. Nice and simple. I'm happy with the way the central defenders are doing. I quite like having a ball playing defender in there just because it helps us when we're passing out from the back, which is fine. Ignore the players that are in here at the moment, by the way. I'm going to sort that out later. Wingers. Again, I want to get rid of this inverted winger, just because I, re I really like inverted wingers, but in this case, I'm just going to keep it simple, Inver we're going to go winger, attack, winger, attack, symmetry. In the centre, there are, there are two changes I want to make. We've actually been okay in the centre, but I, I'm not sure that the box-to-box -box midfielder is, is working in exactly the way I want it to. I still want him to be creating chances, so I think I'm going to go for deep-lying playmaker here, and I think I'll put him on a defend mentality just because I still I don't want him to be too far forward I just want him to, to sit there and, and create play basically for people Mazala is perhaps a bit fancy for this role so perhaps I'm just going to go for central midfielder on support and then what we're doing is we these two are probably staying a little bit slightly further back when these two bomb on and again that gives us that little bit of extra cover um, with the fullbacks as well giving us the extra cover so we, we're not being quite as committed when we go forward or oh, it's not so much of an overload when we go forward and then this is the big one up front so let me just get Costa in there because I think what I, what I want to do here is I think I've got Costa on that side what I want to do here is think about who these players are so Diego Costa I want him as more of a support role because I want him to be dropping back a little bit on the edge of the area I want him to be winning balls challenging people for balls um, and just throwing himself about basically as he as we know he's good at doing um, so the main duty of a pressing forward which is what he's on is to pressure the opposition when they have possession close them down chase loose balls he's really good at that and with a support duty he'll generally take more risks when looking to bring teammates into the game which is which is fine for Costa I'm, I'm totally happy with that I'm also going to do this and this might seem a little counterintuitive but I'm going to tell him, where is it, to shoot less often. In my mind, the way that that's going to work is that's going to make him consider the shots that he takes a little bit more, and that's going to bring that ratio down of shots to converted shots. I'm also going to do the same to Murata. So, shoot less often. So he's currently set as a Trequartista, and that's because uh, Zhao Felix was playing there, and Zhao Felix works really well as a Trequartista. For Murata, he likes to be a complete forward, and I'm happy for him to be a complete forward. Um, let's just have a quick look at the description here. So a complete forward possesses all the technical attributes of a deep-lying forward, the goal-scoring ability of a poacher, and the strength of a target man. Such a player transcends tactical instruction and should simply be allowed to do his own thing. And Murata, again, he fits that, fits that mold perfectly. And because Costa's already on support, I want one of my one of my strikers on attack. Now for the big one. So part of the reason I've decided to do this, apart from the fact that I noticed that we lost those last two games, was that listening to one of the latest Grass and Gear episodes where they were talking to a guy who was a, a coach in real life. One of the things they were talking about, and it's, it's, it's spoken about a lot in FM, are team instructions and about how you shouldn't have too many team instructions. And I was talking to Dan Gear after the after the podcast and he was saying you know you've got too many team instructions you need to remove some team instructions and and I'm never necessarily sure whether it makes that much of a difference because some of the presets have a lot of instructions um but then Dan reliably informed me that they don't know what they're doing so um <laughs> so I'm going to go through and have a look at some of these instructions and see if there's anything that I can remove to kind of streamline it a little bit I've actually already removed focus play down the left and focus play down the right. They, they were both on previously, so they've already been taken off. Overlap left and overlap right. This is an interesting one, because if you go back to the instructions for the, for the fullbacks, so if we look at a fullback, with overlapping runs down the wing to support forward play and help attacks in the final third. So a fullback is already doing that. So do I need this on or not? 
that's more of an instruction for the winger. That's more telling the winger, keep hold of the ball and wait for your fullback to overlap. And that's not necessarily what we want to do. So I'm going to take that off. If the fullback wants to, wants to overlap, then fine, go and overlap. But we don't want to instruct the winger to, to not attack just because he's waiting for the fullback to overlap. It, it doesn't make sense. Play out of defence. Hmm. Do I need it? I don't really. I don't really need play out of defence on. I, I think it, sometimes we will play out of defence and sometimes we won't. So I'm, I'm going to remove that. Time wasting, I can take that off straight away. We don't need that until we get into a situation where we do need, need to time waste. I do still want the tempo to be higher. Passing directness, I am going to change. I want to go slightly shorter. I, I want us to try and hold the ball up for a little bit longer. So I think that that might be a good way to do it. Pass into space, I think, is good to keep on. I want our players to be running into space, and especially down the wings. If I see a player free on the wing or, the, or, or someone overlapping, I want them to be passing passing to that player and also be, ex be more expressive. We're a, we're a good team. We've got good flair players. We don't have the flair players of Barcelona or Real, but some of our players do have good flair, and I want them to use it. If, if they've got it, they should use it. In transition, I want to take out, roll it out, and I want to take out, distribute to centre-backs. I definitely want to counter-press and I definitely want to counter, so that's fine. Out of possession. Higher defensive line, higher uh, line of engagement. Width, defensive width, standard, again, that's totally fine. Prevent short goalkeeper distribution as well, that's fine. Pressing intensity probably doesn't need to be more urgent. It can probably just be normal at the moment. And then we can go more urgent if we're in a, a bad situation. That's a few things changed. As for the actual mentality, I'm actually going to think... I think we might just start balanced, in fact. In fact, let's, let's just read this. Balanced, arguably most important of all match mentalities. Carefully balancing risk and reward. Positive, yeah. So, in the, in the matches where we believe we're the stronger team, I think we should definitely be starting positive, which is what I usually do. In terms of our next game, it's against Real Madrid, so we might be better off going cautious actually lose the battle for possession no actually i think we should just go balanced we've, we've got to be fairly confident about it so against real we're going to go balanced but usually i think we'll we'll be positive so we'll, we'll keep it as positive there and then we'll just change that before the match we've considered it we've thought about it well we i have considered it i've thought about it and i think this is a good way to go and i'm feeling good about it i'm feeling confident about it moving forward perhaps this perhaps this tweak perhaps this change could be the difference moving forward.